everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing with you guys a fashion haul. And I want to share with you guys what I have been loving lately and what you can expect to see me wearing on Instagram, on Snapchat, and sharing in some fashion videos here on my channel. So I want to go ahead and get started and show you some things that I picked up at Mars. Show you something, there's no guarantee that you'll be able to find it in store. But I want to share these goodies with you guys so you can see kind of where I'm going with my style, what I'm loving. So the first thing I want to show you guys is this top. This is from Rose and Olive. I like it. it the color is very vibrant. Very, very pretty. Hot pink. Um, and I like it because it has these little tassel things. So tassels are very big fashion trend that you'll be seeing a lot of this summer. This top is from Max Studio. I was really excited. I got this for $19.99. I love the pattern that it has with like the diamonds and it has this cinched in bottom. It can have like that effortless look to it when you kind of just judge it a certain way. I'm always on the hunt for the perfect white tank top. I feel like ones that I find are either too sheer or they're just not the right fit. And this one is by John Voss. Um, and this was $15. I like it because it's just like a feels like a nice thick heavy cotton material. It has almost like two layers to it and it just falls really nicely. Tell me on Instagram or Snapchat, you already saw this, but I picked up this one piece swimsuit. One piece swimsuits are like super on trend and I think that I'm going to wear this with a pair of denim shorts. So kind of wear like a bodysuit as well. Got it on clearance for $16. And I love that it has this ruching here. It's really forgiving. It's really flattering. And red is my favorite color. Last thing I want to share with you guys from Marshalls is this top. I like florals. My husband teases me and tells, calls it my grandma top. But I just think the colors are really pretty. And I like that this has this little cutout detail here in the back too. So this next top is from Nordstrom Rack. And I actually bought this quite a few months ago but it's been sitting in my closet because I haven't it hasn't been warm enough to wear it and now it's warm enough and I cannot wait to wear it. It is this super cute flowy blouse from the brand Joie. Now normally Joie is very expensive. In retail store this top was $188. Got this top on sale on clearance actually 85% off for $28.20 and it's silk Kind of sexy, I don't think so. Um, because it has this little, I don't know if you can see it. Let's turn this around. It has this little, woo, keyhole cut out. <laughs> and show you a ton of goodies that I picked up from Target. Now we get into my real everyday style. I wear lots of tanks, t-shirts. I'm pretty easy going with what I wear day to day. In the summertime, I don't like to wear tight clothes, things that are restricting, that make you feel uncomfortable. I am a big fan of palazzo pants. Target has like the perfect palazzo pants. These are by the brand Massimo. And let me show you guys. I bought two pairs last year in varied prints. And as soon as I saw that they had it, I was like, I gotta get this one. My husband teases me. He calls me my genie pants. But you know what? I'm super comfy. It just feels good because it's not like, you know, when you wear shorts and things are riding up or if you're wearing jeans and you get like swamp butt situation going on. Those days when you don't want to shave your legs in the summer, you just throw these on with a cute little tank top and you're just ready to go. And I love the fact that these ones have a pocket. Pocket size! Now to go along with things like my palazzo pants or maxi skirts, I picked up these tank tops. I think I, these are so cute. Um, they're really comfortable. I have the black one. I've worn it a ton, I need to wash it. <laughs> it's a little bit more of a flowy tank top. These were $12.99, but look at the back. It's so fun. So a tank top that I picked up from Target is this one. It says a wife on it. I totally had to get it. I thought it was so adorable and just, if it's really comfy and it's just so cute. I have a very tough time finding bottoms that fit properly. So like jeans, shorts, I always feel like it's a really big struggle for me. I have thicker thighs, I have hips, I have a butt, and I feel like everything I try on, this happened to me literally yesterday, I was trying on jeans and shorts and it would get up to my butt and it would be like, nope, not going up. Like it would just get stuck and I'm just like, am I ever going to find the perfect pair of pants? <laughs> I tried these on at Target and they fit perfectly. I was like, 
I have to get them. It was a no-brainer for me. So I picked up these white jeans. These are the mid-rise jeggings. These are a nice thick fabric. They are a little bit stretchy. I know I'm going to be wearing these quite a bit. My husband teases me. He says, it's going to make your butt look huge. Well, you know what? My butt is huge anyway, so I might as well enjoy them and wear the white pants that I like. Now, the last thing I want to show you from Target is a pair of shoes. I picked up these espadrilles. These are the style called, I believe they're called Eden. So these espadrilles are super cute. They're really comfy. The only thing is that when I wear them, like in store, I don't know if it's because of the way the bottoms are or what, my feet, like my actual like whole foot slides around like when you're walking on the floor. So it actually makes it really difficult to walk like in store. Maybe if I just wear them like to be outside, like if I know I'm going to be like on concrete and stuff, but like on smooth surfaces, I was like this. So, I don't know. I don't usually shop at Cotton On. The last time I went there probably was like three, four years ago. I actually walked out with quite a few t-shirts. This is one of the t-shirts that I got. But these are like, what are they called? The Kiara, Kiara, Kira. They're called the Kira sleeve v-neck tees. I got this gray color and this olive -y looking kind of green. No surprise, gray and black. <laughs> t-shirt they feel really soft um it feels comfortable on no complaints my only concern is when i go to wash it how is it gonna wash and then i ended up with this tank top it was two for 20 so or normally they're 15 dollars. so i got four shirts and i just got this <laughs> gray what mooring tank top but i like that it had like this curved hem to it how cute is this i absolutely love baseball hats they're just perfect for bad hair day or dirty hair day or if you're running around and don't want to style your hair. But how cute is this? So it's like canvas material up here, but it has like faux leather on the brim or the lip. The lip of the hat, is that what it's called? But so cute. Five bucks. I love it. Yesterday I went into Forever 21. I got this hat. How cute is this? It is a nice like a nylon material and it has it's perforated. So it's you, you know, you get air flow to your head. I love caps and I thought this one is so cute. I feel like it fits really well and I like that it has like this little ventilation system going on. But this was $10. As I was checking out, I saw this and it caught my eye. This is the LA Girl Pro Setting HD Setting Spray. Long lasting matte finish. It's like a 10,000 word title this was seven dollars at 6.90 i'm trying it out today um when you spray it it does feel like it kind of gets like sticky on your face to really hold the, your makeup in place we'll see how this how this wears last thing i got at forever Tune one is a pair of sunglasses i'm so excited to wear these i'm going to wear them today they are these they look like this i have like this matte rubber frame it's almost like a slight cat eye but i love this gold hardware I just like them. They're so pretty and just like, I feel like they're so chic. These were $8. The purpose of me doing the shopping is to revamp my wardrobe for the summertime. So I decided to buy a pair of denim shorts. I've always had the issue of like my shorts crawling up like on the inside of my thighs as I'm walking and I hate having to like pull them down. I feel like that's so annoying and I don't want to walk like a guy with my legs like this. So I got a pair of shorts from Nordstrom. They have a little bit longer of a rise. I think I believe... It has a 10 inch inseam, but when I roll up, roll them up, they end up being about five or so. And these are from the brand Cut From The Cloth. They are the Catherine Boyfriend Shorts. This is what they look like. I feel like these are pretty true to, true to size. I got mine in a size 12, and that's usually about the size that I would wear, um, 12 or 32 in jeans. This has a 10 inch inseam, so I kind of feel... I have a love-hate relationship because I kind of feel like when I look at them, I'm like, oh, there's like grandma shorts. But then when I put them on, I feel like they fit really well. I feel comfortable in them. Like I can walk all day and not have to be like dealing with like creepy crawlers going up. So I'm just really happy. And I just, I feel like myself, I have to come to terms with the way that my body is and what I feel comfortable wearing and not listen to what society or, you know, or social media says, like, oh, your shorts should be short. That's what everybody's wearing. Well, not everybody has the same body type. And unfortunately, like, if I were to wear the shorts that a girl, like, that is a size zero puts on, it does not look the same. And it doesn't look right. And I don't feel comfortable, which is, like, the most important thing. So if you don't feel comfortable wearing something, there's just no point in putting it on. There's just, 
I've done that before. I've bought things, and I'm like, oh yeah, it looks really cute. I try them on, I'm like, oh maybe, and then I go to wear it, and I wear it one time, and then I realize, I don't like it. I don't know where I was going with that rant. Off in a tangent somewhere, but I am happy with these longer shorts, and I'm going to wear them this weekend, and I don't care what anybody says. I'm going to post them on Instagram, and I'm going to look dang cute. I feel like H&M is kind of like a grown-up Forever 21. Like it has trendy pieces, but I feel like the quality is a little bit better and the fit is better. First off, I want to show you guys this shirt. Okay, forewarning. My items from H&M are very blah in colors. They're black and white and gray. Just giving you a heads up. So I got this t-shirt. This it was $12.99. I got it in a size large because I want it to be flowy and bagging, just really comfy and breezy. I plan to wear this. Ready, ready, ready. White jeans or white or black pants in the wintertime with like a bright orange lip and like a neon bag. I just feel like that would be so kick-ass. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it and show a video and share with you. I also got this skirt. This was $12.99 and it is a bodycon skirt. I like it because it goes a little bit lower than my knee. It's about mid calf, I would say, or so. It fits like a dream and I like the fact that this cotton material, it's a nice thick material versus some that I've tried on for like Forever 21. Yeah, they fit, but it's like. Hello, I can see through your pants. I feel like the options with this kind of skirt, this color, this design is so endless. I think I'm gonna film a video. How to style a striped skirt and give you guys different ideas. <gasps> yes! I saw a girl wearing a bodysuit and it was like all laced. It was super sexy and she was wearing with uh, some skinny jeans and heels. And it was just like so simple, but it was just like so like, wow. I think I would have ever bought this um, had I not seen that picture but I thought that this fits so well and it's actually really comfortable um, it looks like this it's gray and it zigzags it doesn't have like a loose string that hangs down which I kind of like I got this for $17.99 so that is it for my summer fashion haul I hope you guys enjoyed it if there's anything in particular that you want to see styled or a picture of me wearing, let me know down below in the comment section. I do think I'm going to do a video. I know for sure I'm going to do a video styling um, that striped pencil skirt. You can definitely be on the lookout for that. If you don't follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, I will list my usernames down below. Go ahead and follow me. Snapchat, for sure, you have to add me. Snapchat is so fun. <laughs> One of my friends was telling me, your Snapchats are so entertaining. I just go on there and I just talk to myself behind the camera. So, yeah, add me. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.